Dora try to differentiate to compete with radical div find solutions. They they try to debug the down as a service infrastructure. But to me, I'm Mr. Masa. So today's an investment review for the Dora factory. Token code is Dora. Okay, so let's start. So as usual, this is my proposed strategy. So I only allocate my assets to the Bitcoin and all the other coins which is related to these six categories. And if you want a deeper understanding about my proposed strategy, please check out my other video about my proposed strategy here. Okay. And today's Dora matching category is here. Number one, dApps, especially B2B dApps. Okay. And then as usual, I'm going to apply the six anarchy points. So starting from the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and a hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here. So the total score is 30 point, three zero. Okay. And also if you want a deeper understanding about how I'm going to analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. Okay. And let's start from the number one, pain point analysis. So here's one pain point. GitHub is acquired by Microsoft with 7.5 billion in October 2018. Why this is a pain point in this industry? Let me tell you the reason here. It's simply because GitHub is not a sustainable platform for open source project anymore. GitHub is the most successful software version management and code management or technology collaboration platform in the IT industry. Huge success. But since Microsoft acquired GitHub, a lot of questionable things is happening here. For example, Microsoft disables GitHub repository of open source project YouTube DL. GitHub confirms it has blocked developer in Iran, Syria, and Crimea. Microsoft GitHub blocks Catalan protest apps. Why these kind of things are happening here? Because Microsoft is a company based on capitalist society. They have to make the profits. Also, the Microsoft is part of the U.S. economy. All the time, they have to throw the national interest of the U.S. government, so they have to do these kind of things. It's kind of a huge problem for the sustainability and the neutrality of the open source software management platform. Then here's a critical mission for the blockchain industry. So one of the key missions of the blockchain is to realize Web 3.0, decentralized internet. GitHub, run by Microsoft, is completely against this mission. That's why somebody have to develop the decentralized GitHub. It's pretty critical needs to realize decentralized internet. Okay. And then let's move to the second topic, product analysis. So Barricade Profession Analysis as usual and Dora here and their direct competitor Radical here and GitHub here and Keep3 Network here and Keep3 our network here. Radical is a fast mover for this industry. For Dora and Radical is a direct competitor. GitHub is a benchmark player for them to directly compete with. And the first things I want you to pay attention to is DAO. This is the most important element Dora has to accomplish because they are direct competitor GitHub taking a centralized approach. The second things I want you to pay attention to is this one, DAO as a services. DevFi is invented by Radical. It's pretty interesting one. So if you want to interesting about DevFi, please check out my other video about Radical Rad project. Dora try to differentiate to compete with Radical DevFi solutions. They they try to develop the DAO as a service infrastructure. But to me, it's a little bit you know different directions compared with DevFi. But to compete with GitHub, to me it's completely the same. Get. Okay? Then why I put the Keep 3R network here? Because they focus on DeFi market and especially crowdsourcing with token economy on a DeFi space. So Radical and Dora also built the crowdsourcing platform for the developer side. So from this perspective, it's kind of similar. Okay. The, so the key point, whether Dora is going to be successful or not, it depends on these two items here. Then, especially let's focus on this stuff, DAO as a service. So this is from their white paper. So how they're going to decrease the friction cost for the DAO. So this is Dora Factory module here. So every single DAO user, they can use 
the pilot's module on this factory for the DAO management. So in their pilots, they are pretty popular function for the DAO operation stuff, such as bounty, auction, quarter expanding, or election stuff. Then once they're gonna run their DAO mechanism here, they're gonna pay some fee with the Dora tokens. Those you know, fee goes to developer who are gonna contribute to maintain and develop these Dora factory module system. Okay, it's kind of pretty simple. Only matter is you know, how they can decrease the friction cost for the DAO management or DAO operations for the DAPS player, okay? And then number three, team analysis. So currently, mainly two key members. Their mother entity is Dora Hacks. So Steve, he's an Oracle, partner and the director of the global business developments at Dora Hacks. Dora Hacks is based in Beijing, China, and then blockchain incubator. And he got the BA of economics and finance at the Chenghua University. And Eric, system architect, but no information on the Rinku name. And their entity based in Singapore. That's the all information that we can get as of now. Okay. And then number four, execution power analysis. Since Dora project is pretty early stage, so let's check out the history overview of the Dora to analyze their execution capability. So first one, this one, Steam found it in January 2019 in Singapore. And February 4th, 2021, they published their white paper on Medium. And then right after that, February 7th, 2021, they closed seed round read by Hackkey with eight venture capital, including Dora Hacks Venture. So it looks like a Dora Hacks, not only about you know talent's perspective, but also the business and financial perspective, continuously support Dora Factory. That's the things you should know here. Which means that it's not a full scratch project, so the Dora Factory can achieve certain level of executions in next one or two years. Okay, that's the things we can learn from here. And for reference, here is a you know GitHub stats for their benchmark. So as of 2020, GitHub monthly active user is 40 million, and the total number of private you know software program repository is 160 million. Amazing, and the total number of public software repository is 28 million. As you can see, the GitHub is a huge success, and this platform will be replaced by decentralized platform next five to 10 years. That's my analysis, okay? And then number five, token economy analysis. So this is a token economy design matrix, which I made. The matching category is here, DAPS. Since Dora is still pretty early stage project, so they cannot design and implement their network effect model yet. So instead, let me share that the Dora token economics idea from their white paper. So the Dora is a utility token, not the governance token. That is why holder of the Dora can stake, mine, and pay Dora tokens. And the developer who built will be rewarded with the Dora tokens. And the initial total supply of the Dora is 10 million. Okay? Then every DAO is created by staking 100 Dora tokens on chain. And when the DAO is terminated, stake Dora token will be released to get back to the developer. And the Dora factory will first be a POA, proof of authority network, like Binance Smart Chain, transfer to the NPOS, like Ethereum 2.0 network, when deployed on a summer bus project on Polkadot. And the linear inflation starting from 10% in the first year. The inflation rate is decreasing every year, like Bitcoin. Then among the token generated from inflation every year, 2% will go to the Dora factory treasury for the reward program for the developer or something, okay? Then rest of the Dora token generated from inflation will be distributed to the nominator or validator, just like an Ethereum 2.0 or any other like bus project based on the POS model, okay? Then the key things, you know, we can learn from here, their token economics model is not that bad. But, you know, just we need to confirm that whether they can implement this Arctic show or not. That's a key point, okay? Then about the governance DAO, it's pretty critical because this is the reason they can sustainably exist to compete with centralized GitHub, okay? And then number six, hype cycle analysis. So Gartner hype cycle analysis, hype cycle blockchain technology 2020 versions, and a major matching category of the Dora project is here, here, and here. First one is decentralized web. Of course, but 
it takes time to realize it. So that is why I have to set some negative score here, but pretty high potential. Second one is DApps, decentralized applications. It's going to be a huge hot topic next to five to 10 years. And third one, blockchain asset tokenizations. Because you know, to compete with Radical, they are developing DevFi solutions. So Dora Factory have to develop some kind of these solutions here. And for them as of now, DAO as a services is their concept. In my analysis, they have to add some kind of a you know, DeFi feature on these SaaS solutions. So that is why I set the indirect matching category here. Okay? Yeah, overall, since this market still white space, few competitor, almost radical only. So from this perspective, Dora Factory has certain level of potential to be a number two or number three player in this space. Okay? And the final one, total score. So about a pain points, without any question, 5.0, we need decentralized GitHub for the internet infrastructure sustainability and the neutrality. Okay? And uh, products 4.0, uh, analyzing a white paper, their technology or architecture stuff, not that bad, but still it's a potential level, so 4.0. Team level, compare with their direct competitor Radical, it's a little bit behind because the Radical started earlier than you know, Dora Factory. So I set the little minus score here, so 3.5. Execution power, since they're gonna start the project from 2019, and then they're gonna close the seed round in the beginning of the 2021, not that bad execution speed. So 4.0. Token economy, still it's under development, but once we're gonna analyze the white papers idea stuff that I explained to you in the previous slide, I think it's not that bad. Still the potential level variations, but 4.0. About hype cycle, decentralized web, it takes time, but DApps market has a huge potential and uh, their focusing market is pretty wide space and fewer competitors there. So that is why they still have certain level of potential to be a second or third player in the same category. So I set the 4.5 here. So the total score is 25 points. So my minimum investment criteria is over 25 points. So from this perspective, I'm going to recommend the Dora Factory. Okay. All right, so that is all this time. So I'm going to make this video for the educational purpose. So I cannot guarantee you any kind of certain level of investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will practically help you guys understand about high potential of the crypto and the blockchain space. So I'm going to make lots of in this video crypto and the blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.